All right, happy Friday, everyone, and thanks for checking in as we take a look at your national coast-to-coast forecast. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson, and some very heavy rain in Florida. In fact, as of early Friday morning, Miami had already set their daily precipitation record. It's pretty amazing, and that heavy rain looks to continue with some isolated flood concerns there. We're storming the Pacific Northwest. Round after round of this Pacific moisture will help to uh, really accumulate that just liquid precipitation. The highest elevations will see some snowfall and then warm into this early part of December. So there's that lingering front. You can see all that heavy rain down in uh, Florida. Again, Miami setting their daily precipitation record as of early uh, Friday morning. In the central U.S., we're pretty quiet, at least for now, but a very weak impulse of energy strolling through the central U.S. with just a couple of sprinkles or light rain showers. The overall precipitation chance with this over a, a few day time period is pretty minimal. Uh, meanwhile, the heaviest of the precipitation will be found in the northwest. High elevation snow, some of that in the Sierra Nevada range. Nice to see that. But then along the coast, we could be adding up several inches of precipitation over a five-day period, maybe three to six plus in a few spots. And then uh, the far northwestern of Washington can actually be dealing with maybe six to uh, seven or eight inches of rainfall or more. Uh, precipitation values, again, down in Florida will be starting to taper a little bit this weekend, but uh, pretty heavy there today. Northern New England states seeing a little bit of snow this uh, Friday and maybe even to early Saturday. The heaviest snowfall tallies get into the northern Rockies, the northern Cascades, and then a little bit of that down into the Sierra Nevada range. Let's talk about temperatures as we head through December 9th and 13th. Still the eastern half of the country, a very good chance of well above average readings, and especially from the Great Lakes into the northeast as this uh, ridge of high pressure develops, keeping that Arctic air locked well north into Canada. Today, in the midsection of the nation, we're about 10 to 15, almost 20 degrees above average. Minneapolis at 45, Denver at 54, and again, a little cooler and wet in Seattle. Have a good one.